cool. This is Navajo Grandma again. We are on survival tip three, and it's regarding fire, the corn, and it is part two. But we need to understand there are ways that we can start a fire that don't involve rubbing sticks together or using lighter fluid. Rubbing sticks together, a bow drill, a hand drill, lighter fluid, but look at the outcome sometimes if we are not careful. This might be a long video, but there's a purpose for it. And it's to, again, for our survival. With fire, as you can tell. Now, I'm going to read you something according to Greek mythology. The Titan Prometheus gave fire to mankind after stealing it from Mount Olympus. When Zeus found out, the thief was chained to a rock where an eagle could feast on his liver every day for the rest of eternity. Fortunately for us, um, to, fire is easy to come by today. And so uh, with a simple flick of a lighter or a strike of a match, we produce a flame in the breeze or in the wilderness. Now, anywhere you make it, a fire basically has three dimensions. One, heat. Two, combustible material and oxygen. The, there are different fire starters that we are going to uh, show you. I'm going to show you. Now, I don't own these. It requires more work than your Zippo, but since none are dependent on fuel, they're more reliable in a dire situation. Now, remember, a fire can purify water, cook food, and it will keep you warm and scare away predators. So to sum it up, having a fire starter on yourself may help save your life. There are five common types of fire starters. There's a ferro rod and it's a soft metal alloy made most often with a combination of iron and magnesium. You should know all of this if you don't it's spelled F-E-R-R-O, then the ferro rod. Then there's flint and steel. You should know what that is. Then you have the lighter. You have magnesium blocks. You have matches. So we're going to, we've already showed you that uh, in the previous video. This is what I don't own. And it's an Uber. Well, you know what? I'm going to have you look at the, the name. This is an Uber U B E R L E B E N zoomed in fire starter. Okay. Here we are. This is what it looks like. The Idaho, this is an Idaho based maker of this product. The product's name is a, it's a German word meaning to survive. The combo of a country known for efficiency and a brand with little gritty ethos manifests in one of the liveliest fire starters this side of a welding torch. Uberleben's perfect balance Sandcore ferrocerium throws a 5,500 degree burst of sparks no matter the weather, okay? That's the fat, the fatty is the thickest of three versions. Good for an incredible 20,000 plus strikes. You also get a mil spec 550 paracord lanyard for toting and tender and a striker that doubles as a concave tender scraper, miniature ruler, hex wrench and bottle opener next is the friendly swede Man magnesium fire starter if you look at these okay notice what they look like despite all the talk of greek gods in the intro it seems like the swedish might have the best handle on making fire 
This bundle makes it easy because the first stage tender is built right into the magnesium bars. Shave some off, throw hot sparks, and watch your fire come to life in rain, snow, and high altitude. The three bars are good for thousands of fires, and the striker can also be used as a bottle opener because after starting a fire without matches, a lighter, you deserve a drink. Moro Knife, M-O-R-A-K-N-I-V, Companion Spark Fire Starter Knife. Now, look at what it looks like. From a Swedish brand that's making knives for well over a century, this one features a 3.9 inch hardened Sandvik 1-2-C 2-7 stainless steel blade, ideal for carving food, prep, and cutting tender. The magnesium alloy fire starter, integrated into the ergonomic handle, pops out to generate a 5,400 degree spark, then works when wet and is good for around 3,000 strikes. To ignite, scrape the dull side of the blade forcefully against the fire starter, after you've successfully produced a flame, flip the knife over and start filleting the trout you reeled in earlier. The Zippo Emergency Fire Kit. Now look what it looks like. Inside Zippo's pocketable tube, you'll find five easy spark tinders that are capable of burning up for five minutes and an easy to use flint wheel ignition for getting them lit. The container itself is both water resistant and floats and it's constructed using durable plastic with a textured grip and a convenient loop. Pro tip, attach some multi-purpose paracord which can even be used as tinder in a pinch. Next is the Sol SOL Fire Light Fuel Free Lighter. It's not just cars going electric these days. This sleek plasma lighter charges with the USB cable and features dual arcs that ignite flammable materials like the included three feet of nylon tinder cord on contact. With a full charge, it's good for 45 uses, seven seconds per use. And it works in any and all weather conditions thanks to a waterproof design. The bonus is an integrated 100 lumen light that helps you find your way to your tent after those spooky ghost stories around the fire. UST Blast Match Fire Starter. Look at that. With just one hand, a person create a spark with a flint-based fire starter. The device has an attached cover, which easily flips off to reveal a spring-loaded rotating flint bar. Creating a shower of sparks is simple. Hold down on the thumb button. It's part of the case while pushing the flint bar against a hard surface. To create a fire, make sure it's over a type of tender. The blast match is nice because it's useful, easily fits in a pocket, and doesn't have any moving parts. This is called ExoTac Nano Striker XL. And here it is. This XL is a slightly larger version of ExoTac's original Nano Striker with a marginally thicker for ferrocerium and magnesium rod and a larger tungsten carbide striking tool. The XL is easier to hold and can produce a hotter spark. The tiny tool fits on a keychain and can easily be screwed apart and then reassemble into the fire starter. When screwed together, it's also completely waterproof. UCO Titan Stormproof Match Kit. What makes this better than your average box of matches? Everything. To be honest, saying that these matches by UCO are stormproof may actually be an understatement. Once lit, they will keep their flame in high winds or heavy downpours. Submerge them in water briefly or bury them in dirt and they'll stay lit. The carrying case they come with is hardy as well. It's watertight, floats, and won't crush under extreme pressure. In each kit, you'll find 25 matches and a trio of striker pads. Next is the SOL Fire Light Kit. 
This fire starter comes in a bag, a waterproof and resealable bag. Included is a fire light sparker, 20 of the brand's waterproof tenders, waterproof tender quick ignites, and fire starting instructions. The sparker has a flint wheel that produces a spark, and each piece of tender will burn for two minutes and is impervious to both wind and fire. In all, the kit weighs less than half an ounce, fits in your pocket, and is ridiculously easy to ignite. So these are the different um, types of fire starters. And I hope if you have money, good grief, uh, I guess you can go out and get it. So there you go. Advertisement galore. I hope you like this video. How going at? This is Grandma.